So we're here today on the middle, and uh, many of you have heard of us in the shop talking about swinging soft tackles, and sometimes it can be confusing, or people look at us when you say cast downstream like you've got three eyes or something. So Matt's uh, up here swinging in a run, and uh, one of the big things you want to do is you're trying to slow the fly down. You want some movement on it, but uh, as you notice as he casts downstream, he throws a mint, small mint into his line, gets it nice and tight, and then slowly just starts to swing it. A lot of the times, um, and in a lot of respects too, it's very similar to uh, spay casting and swinging flies for steelhead. Um, and also, you notice some of the cast mats using are very similar to uh, spay casts. One of the things you really want to do with uh, swinging soft tackles is you want to be in control of that line. If you can get the uh, line in tight as soon as possible after you cast, uh, you just steer it with the rod tip and slowly bring it across. If you get big bellies in your line, it starts to uh, whip across there, and when it whips, your fly is moving too fast and those fish don't take the opportunity to eat it. And it depends on the water too, like this is a nice creamy run. He's, uh, the water speed's relatively even once you get out of that seam. So one of the things you do is you can get a lot of line out there when it's like that. Sometimes in real slow water, um, you do have a little belly in it to help put some movement. And, uh, and the faster the water is, the more downstream you're casting. The slower the water is, the more it crossed. The other big thing is, if you do get a hit, you'll know it. Um, you definitely feel it. That's half the fun of swinging softies. Uh, you don't want to set. Because it's moving, a lot of the times they're going to set themselves. So be careful. Um, don't set the hook. Use strong tippet. And uh, keep swinging away.